Another nice change is to the Layer Styles dialog, a panel that hasn't changed in quite a while, but now we've got some interesting possibilities, including the ability to add more than one of a particular style. So for example, if I have a type layer and I want to add two different strokes, in the past we would have had to do a workaround that worked fine using Smart Object, but this is even easier now. So here's my type layer. I'm going to add a stroke. And for now, let's just pick a slightly lighter color so we can see it. I'm going to set it to center position with this color. And then now you can see there's a plus sign beside some of the layer styles. Not every one, but some of them. Like this one, I can add another stroke. And on this one, decide I want it to be outside and I'd like it to be a much darker color. So just as simple as that, now I have two strokes around the one type layer. I can turn them on and off, and if I need to, I can shuffle the order. If it makes better sense for some reason to have one stroke on top of the other, I can use these buttons to move them up and down. Over here, there's a menu which I can choose to delete. So for example, if I had hidden one of the strokes and then decided later on I just didn't want that, you can choose from this menu, delete hidden effects. There's also an option to reset to the default list and also show certain options. But this ability really offers some interesting possibilities. Let's add a drop shadow. And initially I'm going to just pull this drop shadow over here and put the opacity up a little bit. Just take a little bit of the blurriness off perhaps, just a bit. But now I want another one. Now with drop shadows it's particularly important that you turn off global light if your plan is to have a very dramatically different shadow, otherwise they'll move together. So for this second drop shot, I'm going to move that, use global light off, decide I want it up here. In this case, I'm going to put it to a very low opacity and make it a lot blurrier. So it's sort of a little extra cast shadow, something like that. The preview also updates very nicely so you can very quickly see what you're going to get. If you feel like this is a look you're going to use more often, you can click the new style button. And remember, as I mentioned, that not every one of these styles has the option to have more than one, but you can see the ones that are indicated by the little plus sign beside it. So instead of having to do some smart object workaround, now you can add multiple layer styles to one layer just within this dialog box.